heat goes on for the group trying to save Elmhurst High School. You probably remember local education leaders voted to close it down last month, part of $15 million in budget cuts. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper is in Studio 15 tonight to tell us about the group's newest efforts. Chris? Mark, the group's first attempt at stopping the closing didn't work. Now organizers are pursuing legal action and they're asking for help from fellow Elmhurst supporters. We don't believe that a fight is won or lost in the first round. If that's how the Save Elmhurst group is keeping track, the first round went to Fort Wayne Community Schools. The board voted unanimously to close the high school. We'd like to take it as far as we possibly can. Like any proud fighter, Angie Hayden Sutton and her group of Elmhurst supporters are planning their next move. We're really focusing on the possible violation of constitutional civil rights. After an initial meeting with a lawyer, the group believes FWCS may be in violation of educational law. Hayden Sutton wouldn't give specifics, but she believes they have a strong case. There is some precedent, so we would like to explore all the, the possibilities. The group is asking for the public's help to officially hire legal counsel. People can donate to the fund on this website. It's a cause this group knows many are passionate about. There's a lot of business people that also went to Elmhurst High School that are, are backing us and, and giving us all the support in the world. I want to thank everybody. There's a successful small school model that's teaching our youth uh, the basics that they need to move on to successful lives. Members of the Save Elmhurst group wouldn't say exactly how much money they need, but according to their website, they're looking for a fund of at least $5,000. To donate or learn more information about this effort, go to the education page of Wayne.com. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15.